Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Seg1. I'm over here working on a Sony DLP TV. This is, uh, you know, the S S SXRD, one of those models. This is, uh, hold up a minute. Got some stuff on my lap. Hold up a minute. This model is specifically uh, the KDS R50 XBR, and this also works for the uh, 60 model, too. Because it's the same TV. And I think they made like a 40 model also. <clears throat> okay. Here's the issue. Let me put this uh, glue down real quick. Let me try to hopefully glue it. But here's the issue right here. Let me take the door off. So, um, you know, the bulb I originally had in here was uh, an Alora Lex bulb. I originally had an Alora Lex bulb in there. And there go the bulb right there it lasted for the i'm going to say i believe well over five six years man so it was worth the money that i paid for but um unfortunately for some whatever reason i'm looking up a laura lex uh oh excuse me aurora bean excuse me aurora bean that's the name of the company aurora bean i looked them up i just didn't see them listed anywhere so you know go on ebay cop two joints they was on sale with the housing and everything uh, original price was for like 45 50 bucks. They were on sale for like $23, so I wound up buying two of them. But right here, what had happened also with the new piece or the new housing of the lamp that I got, I wound up breaking the sensor pins right here, as you see. And the reason why I broke it, obviously, you know, two things ain't always made the same. The newer housing, which the, this is the newer housing and everything. That's the old bulb. I took the old bulb. I mean, I took the new bulb out of the newer housing and put it in the old housing right here, the original housing, and it slid right in. So obviously, and I and I sized it up too, you know, neck and neck, the old housing with the new one right here in my hand. And sure enough, it, it, the size is definitely different, man. By by like a centimeters, man. But you could tell just by looking at it, it was, you know, it's like that much more room for where my finger is at. You know what I mean? The uh, frame right here or whatever. So you got to be careful of that. And it's easy to take the light out of there too. So you know, just it's only three, three. It's five screws total. It's five screws total, and that's it. Okay, but here's the situation. Obviously, you know, when you turn the TV on. And after you put a new light in, if you get the three blinking red lights, we already know most likely that is a sensor, a sensor issue. So sure enough, you know, I put the, I'm thinking like, okay, you know, the bulb lamp, you know, originally died, I guess. So I get, okay, it's, it's time to replace it. That was the original thought. Got the two new bulbs, you know, the one housing didn't fit again, switched bulbs with the, uh, you know, from the new housing and put it in the uh, old one. Slid right in, like I said, but unfortunately, right here when we're talking about sensors, right there, that's a button right there. I can't even show you the metal pin was so small that was attached to, to this sensor right here, right there. Sorry, I'm trying to, uh, you know, maybe I can zoom in this way. Yeah, yeah, see that right there, man. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, let's see, take the camera right here. Right there, bro. That's a button right there, man. And now that I'm looking at this through the zoom, I was going to say it looked like it was cracked, but it's just the way it's angled. So, right there, the little black button. And most likely that uh, white tab that's right above it is also some type of fill type sensor you know what i mean because the pin um excuse me excuse me let me zoom back out let me zoom back out let me zoom back out so you know the pin that was attached to this thing when you pressed it you could tell you know it hit the button and it covered the little white tab that was above it but if if you don't see like a metal pin there or if it's hanging off most likely, you know, that's the reason why the lamp or the television itself is not coming back on.
because we already know the three blinking lights, you know, nine times out of 10 is going to be a sensor issue. Uh, and also, I also sized it up right here because this is the door. You know what I'm saying? Let me zoom back out again. Hold up. Let me zoom back out. This is the door right here. Obviously, you see it, right? So the problem is right here, this little thing where the pin was over here. Right there, where the pin was, or the metal piece that was covering over the little button, this thing will push on to it, and you know, make sure it's locked. And you know, the uh, you know the television knows that you know the lamp is inside of the housing, so it's a safety thing. You can't get mad at it. So basically, I'm looking for something because uh, I pretty much dropped the, the little pin. It wouldn't even go on there anyway. And as far as like, I don't even understand how Sony even. You know, it, it was just it's just a bad uh, manufacturing uh, flaw of that right there. And then most likely you could just get a new piece or whole new, um, you know, circuit chip board or whatever that that, you know, the sensor part is right there. But I'm going to try to attach this metal piece right here. I just folded a bunch of times. So got a little bit of tape on it right there to try to hit it. Also was looking at some like like some hooks because it'll be a straight bar. And then that means it'll actually fit probably better over here. But I'm thinking, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking this would just be better. But when it's pushed in, it, it does click. Not sure if you can hear it. But I want to make sure I go above that white too, just in case. It's also a little kid, little Indian kid. He did a video actually uh, describing this on a sensor. This was what made, what made me come and look at it. But he doesn't have any views. I mean, excuse me, he doesn't have the comment section turned on on the video. And this obviously is an older video. This is this is well over a fifteen year old TV, man. You know, but it's the last of the Mohicans. As you see, you know, it's built like a tank. I always said if anything go wrong with it, if I really can't fix it on my own. You know, I mean, it's gone in the garbage because, you know, I just don't see the money, you know, worth it to really being to keep it, especially with all this 8K stuff out here, new 4K and all that other stuff. But um, one thing I did say, though, because it's a hell of a the design, the television, you know what I mean? Just trying to get you a little, little something of it. For those that never had one of these, it's a hell of a design, man. So I always say what I would want to do. If I could find like the right electrician to do it. And if there's anybody out there, holla at me, man. You know what I mean? To gut this out. Because you can obviously take it apart. You know what I mean? Screws everywhere where you can take the back housing off. Take it apart and put a new panel up in there, man. You know, I'm not I'm not the most techiest guy. I always said I would find, figure it out. But, you know, that's not my thing. You know, that's why we pay people to do stuff for us. So, at the end of the day... Again, sorry for the long video. So far, and I haven't, you know, like I said, tested this method yet to put the pin on it and put the doors and the cover back on and everything to see if it turned on. But so far, if you if you keep getting the uh, three blinking lights after you done changed bulbs, switched housings with new bulb or whatever the case be, most likely bow right there. The little sensor pin, man. And, you know, go, go, I'm going to try to link the other uh, Indian kids video in this video right here. So that way, you know, you know what I'm talking about and get a better description because he laid it out in detail. But, yeah, so far, man, that seems to be the issue. But I guess in case anybody looking for a part number, man. Trying to, well, you know, maybe, oh, can I flip the video? Can I flip the video? No, that's to flip it back the, to the front-facing camera. Mm, that would have been good, though, but, uh, yeah. If you're looking for a part number, I guess. And as I'm trying to see, uh, yeah, it was just like a very small pen, man, that was attached right here, bro. And, and it definitely fucking fell on the floor, man. Excuse my French. 
fell somewhere, man. You know what I mean? That's why I'm about to tear this rug up because it's hard to see stuff when it falls on the floor, especially like little screws and stuff like that, man. And most likely I'll find it when I slide the TV back. But it, it was so small, man. Definitely a small little pen, man. Oh, hold up. Is that it? I found it. Look, I found it. <laughs> hold up. Where we at? Right there. Right there. This this little clip. And it got hooks and everything on it. And as you see how it's bent. But it's it's just too small, though. It's too thin. To, and, it, and obviously, it's been worn from the pressure. You know what I mean? And, and obviously, the heat, you know what I mean? It's metal. It could be reshaped with heat, you know? And as you see the hooks right there, but I, I couldn't figure out because it's just so low. And I, I don't even know how the hell Sony got this bracket right here. Where will you take this bracket out, you know? Just to get to this screw right here to even change this thing. No lie on that one. But yeah, there there it is right there. That's the pen. And hold on a second. What did I do with it? That's the pen. Hold on one second. Ah. That's the pen. And obviously you see the pen that I'm about to try to put in there. It's just uh, a little flat, um, some type of uh, clip washer I had in the toolbox. And as you see, I just folded it a bunch of times to get that thickness to have it hit the door. Have it hit the door tab right there. But I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to see if I could just, you know, glue it on to this piece right here. So whenever I, you know, got to change the bulb, excuse me, glass is falling. Whenever I got to change the bulb. You know, this will be glued on there already. And I also thought about just like, you know, how can I manually just hold that button down? What can I use? But, it's, you know, the, the, it's so small, man. I can't even think of anything that, that, that I could use to like to clip it permanently down. Because that's all it really is for the most part. I sense the button to say, hey, K, the door's locked. And you ain't got to worry about the bulb being exposed or whatever the case be. That's all it is, but... I don't know, man. I'll get back to you guys in, 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 guess in a, bit, a couple hours and let you know a couple days and let you know how it worked out. But yeah, as you see, right there. No button sensor. Uh, wow. Definitely not, you know, just looking at it on a zone level. You can't, I can't even see up close, you know, the scratches that you see on that thing. As you see, what well, on my finger. See how it's like kind of scratched up looking? I guess that was the the metal pen right there, bro. You know, just constantly rubbing on it or whatever. And like I said, that pen is so, is so small, you can't even grab it, bro. You know, ain't, ain't no pliers, you know, in the world is just going to hold that and try to force it back on there. It's too thin and it's obviously too worn out, man. You could have did a better job on that, Sony. For sure. Sag one out, man.